you should not file an intent to file while you are still on active duty. At best, it will do nothing for you. And at worst, you could end up with an overpayment from the VA and you have to pay it back. Although that scenario is probably unlikely. The intent to file form is a tool that preserves a veteran's effective date for a claim. An effective date sets the earliest point in time when the VA will pay you disability benefits. So if you file a disability claim within one year of coming off active duty, your effective date will be the day after your separation date. That's as early as it can possibly be. So filing an intent to file one or three or however many months before you get out can't help you. For the same reason, it doesn't make any sense to file an intent to file during that first year after you separate. Say you file an intent to file two months after you get out and then file a claim eight months later. Your effective date is going to be the day after you separated, not the date of your intent to file. So again, the intent to file did nothing for you. And in that case, if the VA actually uses it, it hurts you by costing you two months worth of benefits. Now, if you don't think you're going to get a claim filed in that first year after you get out, then I suppose an intent to file could help you to at least preserve an effective date somewhere within that first year. But even in that case, I think you're still better off just filing a claim for anything that you think is wrong with you. I mean, even if all you do is file a claim that says, my right shoulder's jacked up, that would be better, at least in terms of preserving your effective date. If you are still in service, you can file a claim between 90 and 180 days before you get out. It's, it's a benefits, delivery, a discharge type of a claim. It won't hurt anything. But really, I think the best thing you can do to help yourself disability-wise is to gather all the evidence you can. Medical records, orders, awards, similar, everything you can think of. And do that for every medical or mental health problem you have. And by the way, ask yourself, did the Army cause it or make it worse? And if the answer is yes, file a claim for it. And I should address another point. The word disability makes us all think about a person who is missing limbs and has to use a wheelchair to get around. So a lot of veterans won't file a claim because they don't think they're broken enough and they don't think they deserve disability compensation. I felt the same way when I got out. And this was way before I was ever a lawyer and way before I ever thought about helping veterans with VA appeals. Now, the reason I ultimately decided to file a claim was for my wife, because I knew that eventually everything I did in the Army would catch up to me and I would be old and broken and generally grumpy, if not completely irritable. And my wife was going to be the one who suffered far more than I did for all of that. So I did it for her. And I also knew that my claim would be a lot easier to prove right when I got out rather than 25 or 30 years down the road when all the evidence is going to be harder to find. Now, if you, if you don't have or can't think of a similar reason to file a claim anyway, think about it this way. If the Army broke it or made it worse, the VA has an obligation to take care of it. So file a claim and start gathering your records before you take off your uniform, because after you do, things will only get harder. So I hope that helps some of you. If you'd like me to help you with your VA disability claim, you can reach out to me through the links below. I'm Al Walsh, a veteran who likes to help other veterans. Thanks for watching.